tell you how to use autofill and flash fill feature in Excel 2016. Let's first talk about autofill. Type January in cell B1. Position the pointer at the lower right corner of the cell. The mouse pointer changes into a black plus cross symbol. Hold down the left mouse button and drag the fill handle up to cell B5. Release the button. The months February to May would appear in the cells B2 to B5. Now let us talk about flash fill. Make two columns, names and initials in Excel sheet. Fill the data in names column. The initials column should have data that is combination of the first characters of first name and the last name, example RK for Ravi Kumar. Click on the fill drop down arrow present on the home tab in the editing group and select the flash fill option. You can also use the shortcut key Ctrl plus E. The initials of rest of entries will be automatically added in the remaining cells of the initials column. Let me tell you how to change cell contents in Excel 2016. The characters and numbers typed in a worksheet can be seen both in a cell as well as on the formula bar. Enter the contents and press either the Enter key or the Enter button on the formula bar to accept the entry. When you type in the new data in the cell, the two buttons cancel and enter present on the left of the formula bar become active. Alright, now let us find out how to replace cell contents. You can edit the cell contents directly and replace them with a new entry. Open a new worksheet and type in the data. Select the cell, let us say D6, whose content has to be changed. Now type 65 in that cell and press the Enter key. Note that the previous value 56 is replaced with 65. Now let's find out how to use Edit Mode. Select the cell D6. Double click on the cell. The insertion point will blink within the cell. Note that the edit mode is indicated on the left side of the status bar. Position the pointer at the desired place and change the contents. Press the enter key. The changes will be entered in the current cell. Notice the edit mode indicator changes to ready mode. We can also edit the cell contents in the following ways. Select the cell and then click on the formula bar. Move the pointer to the position where you want to insert characters. Now make the required modifications in the formula bar. Turn on the overtype mode by double clicking the cell. When overtype mode is turned on, the cursor changes to a blinking bar and the character to the right of the blinking bar gets highlighted. Press the insert key from the keyboard. Start typing in the cell. The existing characters will get placed with the new characters you typed in. Thank you for watching. Let me explain you how to change row height and column width in Excel 2016. Let me first tell you how to change the row height. Select the row. Click on the drop down arrow of the format button in the cells group on the home tab. Click on the Row Height option. The Row Height dialog box appears. Enter the desired value and click OK. The change will be reflected on the selected row. Now, let me explain you how to change the column width. Select the column. On the Home tab, click on the drop-down arrow of the Format button. From the displayed list of options, click on Column Width. The column width dialog box appears. Enter the desired value and click OK. Observe the change on the selected column. Let me explain you how to copy and move data in Excel 2016. 
Let me first tell you the steps involved in copying and pasting data. Select the cell or a range of cells you want to copy. Let us say B4 is to D4. Click on the copy button in the clipboard group. The dashed line will appear around the selected cells. Select the destination cell, let us say F6 and click on the paste button in the clipboard group. The text will be copied to the new location. If you want to paste the same data repeatedly, you need to click on the paste button in the different cells. Let's now talk about moving data around. Let us learn how to use the drag and drop method. Select a cell or a range of cells. Position the mouse pointer at the edge of the selected cells. Notice that the pointer changes from a white cross symbol to a move pointer symbol plus. Drag the selected cell or a range of cells to a new destination and release the mouse button. The data will be moved to a new location. Let me give you some interesting tips. We can also move the data by using shortcut menu. Right click on the cell to open shortcut menu and select the cut command. Now select the destination cell. Right click on it and choose paste option. The shortcut key to perform cut, copy and paste operations are Ctrl plus X, Ctrl plus C and Ctrl plus V respectively. You can also move the data by selecting the cut and paste button in the clipboard group. Let me tell you how to delete cells, columns and rows in Excel 2016. Let me first tell you how to delete cells. Select the range of cells to be deleted. On the Home tab, click on the drop-down arrow of the Delete button and select the Delete Cells option. The Delete dialog box appears displaying four options. Choose Appropriate option and observe the change. Let me now tell you how to delete columns or rows. Select the column to be deleted by clicking on its header. Click on the Delete drop-down menu in the Cells group on the Home tab and select the Delete Sheet Columns option. Or, right-click on the header of the selected column and choose Delete option. Know that you can delete a row in the same way as you delete a column. That is, by clicking on the row header and choosing Delete Sheet Rows from the options of Delete drop-down button. Or right click on the row header and choose the delete option. Let me explain you how to insert cells, columns and rows in Excel 2016. Let me first tell you how to insert blank cells. Select the range of cells where you want to insert the blank cells. You should select the same number of cells as you want to insert in the spreadsheet. Now right click on the range and select the insert option. Or select the insert button in the cells group on the home tab. Click on the insert cells option from the drop down list. In both the cases you will get the insert dialog box. There are four different options to choose within the dialog box. Select the desired option and click on OK. Let me now tell you how to insert a column or row. Select the column or cell to the left of which a new column is to be inserted. Here we have selected column E. Click on the drop down arrow of the insert button in the cells group on the home tab and choose the insert sheet columns option. Excel inserts a blank column to the left of the column E and shifts the entries of column E to column F. Know that you can insert a row in the same way as you insert a column. Select the row or a cell above which a new row is to be inserted and choose Insert Sheet Rows from options of Insert drop-down menu.